Okay, so as Richard pointed out, and as he spelled out so eloquently, we've got a lot of this hardware and software inside us already. But our job as an industry is to layer on new hardware and software and content to enhance the senses and sometimes trick them to seeing, feeling, and hearing what's not really there. Uh, Unity has a big part to play in this. Uh, Unity 2017, now in beta, is going to be the foundation for all your XR development, whether it's virtual, augmented, or mixed reality. We've been spending the last while now investing in several core areas, and we're going to highlight a few of them right now for you, uh, some technical innovations in Unity 2017. And we're going to start with, there we go, graphics and performance. Job one in XR is to create really compelling graphics and run them at the highest frame rate you possibly can to keep up the sense of presence and to never, ever induce motion sickness. Here are a few of the Unity 2017 graphics features that we're really excited about. First, lighting. We now have a progressive light mapper feature that lets you bake your lights at author time, which means you can have super realistic lighting and not pay runtime performance penalties to do that. We also have single pass stereo for mobile now on your Gear VR and your Daydream builds, and you can now have uh, the scene rendered just once for both eyes instead of going through the scene twice, once for each eye. It's a big deal. It doesn't actually save you 2x on performance, but it's about 30%. It's pretty amazing. We've integrated VR works from NVIDIA. So for your uh, desktop-enabled NVIDIA machines, you get all kinds of cool new visual effects. I'm going to be talking about those later in the future. And super high performance on these NVIDIA desktops. Text Mesh Pro. Text Mesh Pro used to be a plug-in. We integrated it into Unity this year. And text is kind of a big deal in XR, right? And with Text Mesh Pro, we use these sign distance fields to render uh, text at any distance really crisply with bevels and glow and materials and all these really cool effects. And yeah, that's, you know, text has always been kind of the stepchild in graphics systems. If you've been doing graphics programming for years like I have, it's always been the last thing you deal with in your pipeline. So it uh, seems a little humble, but it's actually a really big deal. Now, We've also spent a lot of time and energy working on 360 video. 360's kind of become the next hot media type. But in the past, it's kind of been a lean back passive experience. With Unity 2017, you can incorporate animated CG elements in real time and with interaction. And we're going to show you a demo of this now. And for that, I'd like to welcome to the stage my awesome colleague, Natalie Grant from Unity. I also want to give a shout out to Murata. Murata is an agency that creates interactive experiences. They specialize in VX, VFX and animation, and they built this demo that we're going to show you. Take it away, Nat. Thanks, Tony. So here we have an open project with VR mode enabled <clears throat> so we can see our headset view below. This is a simple 360 video. We place the video on a sphere and a camera in the middle. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, dinosaur. Nice dinosaur, Natalie. Thank you. <laughs> this is obviously a CG object. Uh, with Unity, you can do compositing and visual effects, but in real time and for VR. And if we look up, these birds are also CG objects. And you may notice that some of these guys are actually flying behind the gazebo, but in front of the sky. Even though we're playing a video, we can occlude or hide objects. This adds a subtle but powerful touch of immersion. Um, I, I want to make sure everyone in the room is getting this. That gazebo is not a CG object we placed in the foreground. Right. Right? Right. It's two layers of video playing simultaneously. So if we look inside, we have a second, smaller sphere. Notice how you can see the gazebo, but the rest is transparent. This inner sphere has a shader, custom built for this demo, called Alpha Mask. It's blocking everything but the foreground. I'll swap languages here and say it another way. Over here on the right, this is the mat, or alpha, and we've keyed in the birds. So between these two layers is where all our CG objects can hang out and have a good time. This is the illusion. It's a fast, inexpensive cinematic trick. I'm just sure there are filmmakers in the audience who are dying to get their hands on this to try stuff like that because 
That's actually from film, that technique. That's amazing. Yeah. Let's take one more look at the environment we've created. So you can see we put text here as navigation markers so that we can travel around. This is gaze-based locomotion. So if you can see this little red dot here, that's the center of where I'm looking in my headset. This is what VR is all about, feeling like you're there. So let's go ahead and stare in this direction to take us closer to the water. All right. So this has triggered a different video to play on the, on the same sphere, but we feel like we've moved. Very sneaky. Finally, the best part, I want to show the power of real-time rendering. If I decide I want to add some more birds, maybe for a little bit of an Alfred Hitchcock effect, all I have to do is select the birds and scroll up the slider, and it's instant. And then, OK, I'm getting a little creeped out. I'm going to bring it back down again. And if you stare at the sun, you'll see that the birds disappear when they fly across it, just like they would to the human eye. A video alone can't do that. But in Unity, we can, and it's super simple. We placed a light source outside the sphere right behind where the sun is in the video. And that's the magic effect. And now we have super cool J.J. Abrams lens flares. <laughs> so that's it. Two layers, CG objects, interactivity, locomotion, and light. These are just a few small ways to make a regular 360 video interactive and immersive. And that's what everybody really wants. That's so cool. Thank you so much, Nat. <laughs> so look, that, that's 360 video with real-time CG in it, right? And interactive elements. I, I just, I can't wait to see what people are going to do when you get your hands on this. And it's in Beta Unity 2017 right now. <laughs>